Hi there, this is teacher Carla. Welcome back to our sixth class. And let's see what we're going to use today. Okay, in this video, we're going to use your student's book and your notebook. And remember that in your notebook, you have to write your date and the number of the class. In this case, you have to write class number six. One of the words we learn in this unit is sneeze. People have different sneezes. We have soft sneeze and we have loud sneeze. But let's see what parts of your face move when you sneeze. Okay, so look at the picture and see what parts of her face move when she sneezes. Okay, so let's see. Maybe she moves her eyes, she moves her nose, and she moves her mouth. Very good. Now let's open your students book on page 676. Okay. Let's start with exercise 12. It says listen and read. Okay. First, let's check the the title. Why do we sneeze? Why do we sneeze? We have different reasons to sneeze. In this reading, guys, we're going to learn that those reasons. So, I'm going to play the, the track, and you have to follow the reading, okay? When you're ready, please follow the reading. One, two, three. Twelve. Listen and read. Why do we sneeze? When you have a cold, you often sneeze. Why? Because germs make a home in your nose, and they tickle you. Sneezing is your body's way of sending germs out of your nose. Many animals sneeze, too. What happens? Your nose doesn't like the germs, so it sends a message to a part of your brain called the sneeze center. The sneeze center sends a message to your muscles. Then, all your muscles push hard. Even your eyes push. That's why you close your eyes when you sneeze. You should have a tissue ready, because the sneeze happens very quickly. A sneeze can travel as fast as a car. Very good. It's very interesting, right? To understand better, guys, we're going to answer three questions, okay? The ones that you have to write on your notebooks. The first one is, when you have a cold, what makes you sneeze? Number two, where's your sneeze center? Number three, how fast can a sneeze travel, okay? If you need, guys, you can go to the book and read again and check your information to answer these questions, okay? Now, let's go with the next activity to understand uh, better about what happens when we sneeze, okay? Here we have five sentences and we have to write from one to five to show the order of how a sneeze happens, okay? So let's read together. The first one says, germs in your nose tickle you. You close your eyes and sneeze. Your nose sends a message to the sneeze center in your brain. Your muscles push hard and the sneeze center sends a message to your muscles. Very good. Now, let's check what is the first um, sentence. What do you think that is the first one? Yes. Germs in your nose tickle you. 
okay? Now we have to write number one there. So please guys, copy these sentences on your notebook and order them. When you're ready, you are going to pause the video and then we're going to check your answers, okay? We're going to check them with teacher Daniel. Okay, ready? Let's check the answers. Hello guys, I'm teacher Dani and we are going to check this exercise together. Okay, so let's start. Number one, herms in your nose tickle you. Number two, your nose sends a message to the sneeze center in your brain. Number three, the sneeze center sends a message to your muscles. Number four, your muscles push hard. And finally, number five, you close your eyes and sneeze. Okay, guys, that's all for this exercise. I hope to see you really, really soon. Remember that we love you. Please stay in your house. I miss you so much. And bye. Thank you, teacher Tani. And now let's continue with the next exercise, which is exercise 13. Here, guys, we're going to change a little bit the, the activity because you have to work with a partner but in this case you don't have a partner so i'm gonna help you this time it says ask questions and take notes and you have to take turns okay i'm gonna help you with the questions and you have to answer okay so it says that we have to write questions with why who how how fast and how many people okay we have to use the information in your uh, reading in exercise 12. Okay, so the first question that we can say for why is why do people sneeze? Okay, using who we can ask, do you know who else sneeze? Using how we can say, how does your sneeze sender words work? And the next one, using how fast, we can say, how fast is Nice can travel? And the next one, how many people can Nice reach? Okay? So, all of these questions are about the um, text that we'll read on exercise 12. So, we're going to answer on your notebook because I think that in this uh, in this chart we don't have enough space so we can write it uh, on your notebook so I'm gonna help you with the first one okay so the first one is why do people sneeze okay why do people sneeze Por qué? So let's go to the text and check where we can find this um, answer. It says, why do we sneeze? Uh, shoot. When you have a cold, you often sneeze. Why? Okay, here we have uh, a word that we can uh, help us. It says, because germs make a home in your nose and they tickle you. So I think that this is the correct the answer or the information that we can use to answer the question. Okay. Now, knowing the information that we have here, we can uh, and we can write germs in the nose tickle. Okay. Please do the same as me, guys. Go to the text. And, and find the information and then you can answer the question okay remember that you can use the notebook because here in the book we don't have enough space now when you have finished guys let's go to the next activity 
here we're going to do the home shaking. In this time, teacher David and teacher Danny are going to help us to shake your homework, okay? So let's get ready your homework with teacher David. Hello guys, it's your teacher David. We're going to to check your homework, so please take out it. Um, the first exercise, it says, choose the correct reflexive pronouns. The first one, we scratch by blank riding the bike. And the answer is ourselves. Okay, the next one. Kids shouldn't use the scissors by themselves. Okay, guys, the next one. My little brother could blank when he used it that night. The answer is himself. The next one. You shouldn't go by and the answer is yourselves. Okay, the last one. My mother born by blank cooking a cake. The answer is herself. Hello guys, I'm teacher Danny and we are going to check the second exercise together. So let's start. Complete the table using reflexive pronouns. Remember that if you have the correct answer, draw a thick or if you have the wrong answer, please write the correct one. So let's start. I'm sorry if you listened the rain. <laughs> what is raining, okay? Uh, okay, let's start. If your subject is I, your reflexive pronoun will be myself. Now, the subject is you in singular. Your reflexive pronoun is yourself. Now, if your reflexive pronoun is himself, the answer of your subject is he. Subject is she, your reflexive pronoun is herself. If your reflexive pronoun is itself, your subject will be it. If your subject is we, your reflexive pronoun is ourselves. If your reflexive pronoun is themselves, your subject is they. Now, if your subject is you in plural, your reflexive pronoun will be yourself. Okay, that's the end of the exercise two. Guys, goodbye. I hope to see you really soon. Take care and remember that we love you so much. Bye. Now, guys, the last exercise we have, it says, put the words in order to form sentences. And if you look, we have four sentences that are not in order. And the first one, it says, go cinema they buy to pay themselves. Uh, okay, and the answer, it says, they go to the cinema by themselves. Okay, the next one. It says, care, take, can adults themselves buy. The answer, it says, adults can take care by themselves. Okay, no problem. The next one. Brother, they my own hurt himself bike. And the answer, it will be my brother hurt himself on the bike. Okay, guys, finally, we have a question. That it says, question mark, you eat by can yourself do 
And the answer it says, can you do it by yourself? And question mark. Well, thank you, teacher David and teacher Danny. Now, let's go to check what is your homework in this time. This time, guys, you're going to do uh, page 62 from workbook, okay? So you have to do uh, this page, and then we're going to check your homework the next, in the next video, okay? Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, during the end. And see you next, next class.